everybody. Okay, I finished another book. Um, I'm doing really bad with this whole thing in April. Like, I finished three books compared to the nine that I finished last month. And I just have, like, I guess I haven't not been recording the videos because I haven't been finishing books. Um, but I finished this one last week on Wednesday. It's currently Monday night, like late Monday night. So I flopped a little bit. Um, but I read Tin Man by Sarah Winman. I think that this is my favorite cover this year um, that I've read. This is my 25th book. Um, and I really think that this was my favorite cover. I just, I love it. I, I love like the gold. Um, and I think those are supposed to be like waves. Yeah. The gold waves. It's just cool. And how it looks like a painting, like a Van Gogh painting, which is a theme in the book. Um, I really like this book because it talks a lot about, I'm looking for something. It talks a lot about, um, Van Gogh. Uh, give me one second. My room's kind of a mess. And I really like Van Gogh. So I have a sunflower shirt with basically this on it. But this is my, if you, a while ago, right over here is a little bear. And he looks, he's got the Van Gogh sunflowers. I got this from the Van Gogh exhibit in LA. I got those, both of these. This was in my Miss Benson's Beetle video. Um, and so I got this. And then over here, give me one second, for Easter, I got this bag, which I have not used yet. I just should, but I have such a hard time parting with my, I didn't like that noise, with my New Yorker bag. So I don't know if I will, but I really do like this. And it fits like I'm all yellow right now. Like everything is yellow. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, so the Van Gogh sunflowers was a theme throughout the book, um, which I really liked. Uh, but this book, it wasn't super what I expected. Um, and that's my fault. Like, I gave this book five stars, by the way. Um, it didn't make it onto my favorites list, but it was still like a good five star book. Um, I like, I had different, um, expectations for this book that, were completely like my own. Like I didn't read them anywhere. I didn't read it from the back of the book. Like I just completely made up expectations for this book that weren't met. So I had a little, I, I wasn't like underwhelmed, but I, I wasn't pleasantly surprised with how it actually ended up being. Um, but it, the back of the book does describe it very well. It basically recounts all the years in between this love story. Um, so if you want to read it, I, I don't know if you can actually read that when it's reversed like that. Maybe you can. <laughs> I have no idea. The, the MacBook camera, like I, it's completely lost on me. If you see me always going like this, that's because I have no idea how this works. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you can, no, you should be able to read that. Except that doesn't T-I-N, but is that backwards for you? Does that say knit? Knit Nam? I wouldn't know. Um, <laughs> anyway. Um, so I have another Sarah Winman book. Um, <laughs> that sounded kind of weird in my head. I have another Sarah Winman book, which I'm really excited to read. Um, because her writing is so beautiful. Like, this book was super, super beautifully written. Um, it was, like, a skewed perspective. It was... I mean, I wouldn't know any better. But I, I, I was, like... She wrote from two gay men's perspective. And I don't know. I just... I don't know if you can master a craft as... I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I really did like this book. Like, I was kind of hoping it would be more of a love story. It talks about their love story a little bit. And I also, one thing that I was like, that I actually was shocked about was how much not of it for, like, a gay romance, it wasn't slow burn at all. Like, it really just, it jumped right into it. Um, which, like, my only other... LGBTQ romance that I've read 
was Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, and that was Slow Burn. Um, so, my bad. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it wasn't Slow Burn. It really, it dove into it fairly quickly. Um, but, I mean, I liked it. I thought it was fun. I thought it was super sweet, um, super sad. But, overall, it's just a really beautifully written book. Um, so, here's the... I don't remember if I started showing these, but this is the bookmark that I used for this one. Um, so yeah, I got this for $7. I would recommend, like, it's short enough that you won't get stuck with it for a while. Um, yeah, it's just, it's super sweet. All of the covers, except for the one on Goodreads, ha are really cool, are now really beautiful. Like, there's another one that looks just like this, but in instead of, like, a man in the back, it's Van Gogh's Sunflowers. So... I think that's really beautiful. It was a really beautiful book. Um, I'm really excited to read Sarah Winman's other book because it's winning, winning like a bunch of awards, I'm pretty sure. Um, a bunch for um, the cover, the cover art. Um, that's won a couple, I think. So I'm excited to read it. I'm reading three other books right now. One maybe I'll finish two of them. Um, my goal was to get to three or four books in April because I knew that I was going to be busy. Um, so I reached three. I would like to reach four. Um, and then May, don't know how, like, I don't know. I just like, I have so many books that I haven't read. Like most of those up there I haven't read. And a lot of these I haven't read. And then in this cupboard right here, there's even more. Uh, but the ones in the cupboard are ones that, like, I got when I was in, like, 8th grade or ninth grade that I was, when I was in my fantasy kick, and I would read, like, a book a year, um, barely. So, all of these ones are on the back burner, but all of those, I do plan to read, all of the ones that I haven't read, and all of these are, like, Jane Austen, or they're new. Like, like, fairly new. Um, like, one, two, three, four, five, six. All of them are new, except Daisy Jones and The Shoemaker's Wife. Um, so I've only read one, two, three, four. I've only read four books out of that section in there, and I, it's because I have two Sense and Sensibilities, so technically I've read three. Um, so I've got lots of books to read, and so every time I finish a book, I get extremely overwhelmed because of the mass amounts of choices. Um, so I have my friend's pick a number um like because I have a, a full like a master list of all the books that I want to get and all the books that I have that I'm, I want to read this year um and so I have them pick a random number between this and this and then that's the book that I pick up um which I don't like that system because then I don't I I should just pick a book because I get so in my head about like getting stuck on a book for a while I have not read a long book in a while, like, I can't, like, Love and Fury was 270, but it wasn't that long, um, like, long to me is, like, th over 300 pages, that's long enough, and then short to me is, like, anything under 200, and then in between 200 and 300 is, um, like, just an average length book, I guess I read The Guest List, that was kind of long, Forever Interrupted was over 300 pages, Sense of Sensibility was long. Okay, I, I have finished books that were longer. Um, Lady Clementine was long. Circe was long. The The longest book that I've read this year was Circe. That was at the beginning of March. Um, and we're going to move into May in just a couple days here. So, I... I think I know what I'm going to finish next, but I typically surprise myself and finish a completely random, random one. Um... If you, if you have seen me talk about a book that you want me to read, let me know, because I'd love to have someone pick for me. Um, and that's about it. So I'll uh, hopefully see you all soon. I know for a fact that I'll see you at least one more time in April for the April book ranking, which will be fairly easy, because if I only have three books, then all of them make it on the podium. So, with that said, I'll see you all hopefully sooner than May 1st. Okay, I'll see you later.